Hi chums, right, this is uh, the last one. This is a bag of charlottes. These are a salad potato that should have been taken out last July or August. So they've had plenty of time. Now I'm expecting these to have sprouted um, chits um, because it's getting, into, it's getting warm here. It's 21 degrees inside the greenhouse today. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to Dale Calder because he pushed my site on one of his recent videos and I've had a huge increase in the number of subscribers. Now I'm not into this to get subscribers but what I do consider a huge compliment is when someone subscribes to me. So. To all you new people especially, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It's, it's very, very good of you. So, um, I'll just go back to this and I'll talk about something else in a minute and you'll understand why. Okay, so these potatoes here, they're Charlotte. They should have been out ages ago. I'll just pull these homs out. Isn't that what you call them, the homs? No point in fighting with those during the thing. And then we'll, we'll get started. So, it's quite a bit of brew, a bit of... A bit of swelling on the side, so there might be something in it. Right. Okay, so there we are. Uh -huh, see? Where are we? There's a chit starting to come on. Those are the size they should normally be. Around about egg size, which is just dead on. So those are alright. Where's my bucket? There's me. Me piggin. So look, see? The chits are starting on them now. I just break those off and eat them, because there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with those, you know. So, um, why not mention what I'm doing earlier on? I just want to make sure I get into this part of the video, just in case anybody's doing a bit of cruising, looking for giveaways. Um, like Dale said, um, I'm, I've been watching the giveaway thing, and I've been very conscious of the fact that people tend to troll or troll internet um, YouTube looking for people doing subscriber giveaways and then they get them take the money and run basically so I don't want that to happen um, I would prefer that my subs got the prizes you know or the gifts we call them gifts it's not a competition it's a gift but um, so I'm going to do that later on um, what has happened since the last Get revealed not a whole lot actually I'm still working at my mother's house we're getting near the, we're getting near the end now it's like every project the first 90 percent of the work is done in 10 percent of the time and the last 10 percent takes up the other 90 percent and we're just at the stage now of wanting to get decorators in now people have told me oh you're mad you're mad paying decorators to come in and decorate the house but it's not it's just not what they think I'm not decorating the house to increase the value of the house. I'm decorating the house for, for pride's sake because um, the upstairs part of the house hadn't been used for over 20 years because my mother wasn't able to do stairs very well. But she was able to do them well enough that she could s sneak up with all the crook that she'd bought down town and hide it upstairs so that we didn't know what was going on. So it means that we now had to, we had to clean out all the stuff that she had been hoarding upstairs, which was a huge job. Like there was three bedrooms stuffed to halfway up the walls. And what caused, what happened then was, because there's so much stuff in the rooms, it caused a problem with the air circulation and there was some damp, or not damp, but the condensation on the walls. The house is a very, very good house. It was built in 1958 when they were building the very best houses here. The materials were just superb. Um, and it had been, it was that period after the, after the war when there wasn't a whole lot of stuff and then suddenly it became available, all the good stuff, and that's when these houses were built. So they're, they're a superb house and somebody is going to get a brilliant, brilliant house that will do them for a long, long time. So, but this is a pride thing. I don't want somebody to come and look at the house and think to, think to themselves, what sort of state's that to live in? <laughs> they didn't even bother. Getting the deck, get the up, keeping the upstairs clean. 
So I'm just getting all the wallpaper, the old wallpaper taken off and get painted, just painted some bland colour like what do you call that colour that everybody uses? It's not white, magnolia, but there's, there's new names like sort of heavenly peach or something, you know. But we'll, 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 um, we'll do that and that'll just tidy the upstairs up. The downstairs house is dead on, it's really nice, but the upstairs needs a good cleaning up basically, you know, just freshened up. So I'll get that done and it's not going to cost a lot of money, but it's, it's not to make money, it's for pride's sake more than anything, you know. Well, it's not for money. It is for pride's sake. So there's what we have, folks. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good bag full, isn't it? Maybe about ten pounds of potatoes there, I'm sure. So I'm happy with those, and uh, I'll maybe just keep some of these aside and use them for seed potatoes for next year. So uh, that's it done, folks. That's the last reveal done. So. I hope you can hold back the tears and all, hey? <laughs> this is something I don't understand really, but anyway, you just enjoy it, so people tell me they like it, so happy, I'm happy enough to do it. Um, right, so, oh, dropping the potatoes, right, so what do we do to reward you for putting up with me for all this time? Okay, I'm going to do the uh, wee giveaway now, folks, okay? I want to get my gloves off because you'll see why in a wee second. Um, as I said, please don't use the word giveaway or anything else. All you have to do to be entered, if you like, is just make a comment. Just say, how you doing? Or whatever you want to say. Don't go into any length at all. Just something small, like um, nice potatoes or whatever you want to say but don't make a big effort you know, it's not it's not like school where you have to write a composition to win a prize you know all I want to see is your name in the list basically so to know somebody has watched the video so I'll just pull this over this is my new my new workbench yes there we are right I'm gonna see if I can just let me move in a wee bit right okay so pens okay start with this one that one there, okay. I'm gonna go back out again because I'm too far I'm too far in now. Right, this is um that is where are we at? Um oh, I'll screw it up here. That is I think it's a burr oak. And it's a little twist pen, you just twist the end of it and okay, I'm all over the place here, sorry. Twist the end and the ink comes out and I use a cross type refill. A very good refill, they're beautiful, beautiful writing refill, and uh, I get these from Australia, a place called Timber Bits, and the stuff's very, very good quality. The kits, so um, that's the first one. It's a little, little um, twist pen, value about thirty dollars. That's what I'm, I can get for them anyway, you know, about thirty dollars, twenty-five, thirty dollars, you know. So what's that in money? About twenty pounds, and then. See that one, and the next one is another twist pen, and it's um, a Sierra. Once again, it's from Australia, and um, timber bits, and you just twist, twist it, get it, get into the thing, twist the end, and the nib comes out. As you can see, I don't know what sort of wood that is. It's obviously got sap wood in it as well. I'm not too sure. There's something going through my head, and I can't get the name of it. But I remember do, using the wood and lifting it and thinking. I wonder what that hold together for a pen, and it did. So that's nice value, about fifty dollars, um, thirty pounds or so, twenty-five, thirty pounds. So that's a nice pen. I like these ones here. Nice, these are a nice weight. These pens here, and uh, so we'll put that one back in again. And then this last one is a Baron pen. Now these are a nice pen here. That's a wood called Kingwood, and it was this is called Kingwood because it was specified for furniture by the kings and queens of Europe. Um, I don't know what its proper name is, its, its biological name, but it's known as Kingwood. It's very hard to work in flat work, and it, but it takes a nice finish. Now I don't go for real high high gloss finishes. I go for more of a satin type finish. And uh, that's just finished with wax. I don't use super glue on the pens. Super glue I've found tends to go like a yellow colour after some time. So I just go with wax and that does 
does the job very best. And sure, by the time the wax is worn off, you'll have lost the pen anyway. So this pen here, this screws in half this pen, and it's uh, where are we at? It's, it's just a, a brief, a, a Parker roller ball, Parker roller ball, and then you store the cap on the top of the pen, and it makes for it, it makes for a nicely, oops, sorry, makes for a nicely balanced pen. Um, I've, I thought men would like these. I find that uh, a lot of ladies like these pens too. They like a little bit of extra weight in them, you know. So that's it. So what I'll do is, there'll be three draws. Well, sorry, one draw for three prizes, okay? And the person who I draw first will get first choice. The person I call second will get second choice. And the person third will obviously get the pens left over, okay? So um, that's it. All you have to do is say... That you've seen the video, but do not mention the um, the, the giveaway because people people look for comments where they're talking about giveaways and stuff. So if you mention giveaway or pens or anything else, I'll delete your comment. But I will keep your name. It won't put you out of the draw, but you'll have made a mistake, and I'll just I'll delete your comment so nobody else sees what you said. But I'll keep your name for the draw. You won't be penalised for it. Put it that way. But I just don't want to advertise the fact that I'm giving these away. Okay, just I just want my subscribers to get this. All right, so there you are, folks. Um, Baron, Sierra, and just an ordinary wee seven millimeter crisp pen, and that's it. So and those are handmade um, by me. They're not bought in a shop or anything, you know. So they are what they are. And if you want one, put your name on the. Just make a comment, and I'll do the draw. This is the 16th of March. We'll, we'll leave it until this day fortnight, two weeks, to give people time to see the videos, okay? So in two weeks' time, I'll close this down, and I'll do the draw on that Sunday evening or Monday, okay? It'll be Monday the 31st, I think. So we'll do the draw there. All right. Okay, then. All the best now. Bye-bye.